Hello children Today we are going to start a chapter number 10 Who to do who to do You all like to play games isn't it Games are very important for us Games provide good exercise They make one mentally alert and physically strong It promotes values of discipline team spirit and to cope with difficult situations have you ever played or watched a kabaddi match kabaddi is known by different names in different languages like chadugudu in andhra pradesh hututu in western india chadukudu in south india hodudu in eastern india kabaddi in punjab region kabaddi is the national game of bangladesh kabaddi is the state game of some of the states of india like andhra pradesh bihar haryana karnataka maharashtra punjab Tamil Nadu and Telangana There are 7 players in each team playing kabaddi Game of kabaddi is played over 40 minutes with a 5 minutes break How do you play kabaddi Pushing and pulling screaming and shouting dragging and falling on the ground It is a rough game yet it has many rules It is lots of fun and lots of exercise holding your breath while running and continuously saying kabaddi kabaddi and also trying to touch the players of the opposite team as a raider So many things to do in kabaddi You can do this as long as you can hold your breath. You need to use both your body and mind in this game. You have to use your strength to pull or stop the players. At the same time, you have to think about how to enter the other side. You have to decide whom to touch quickly. and come back if you get caught then how do you reach the line in the center a good coordination is required between eyes legs and arms in case if you get caught and cannot touch the line and take breath in between you will be out and out means no longer active in game the team with most points at the end of the game wins there are three ways to get out in kabaddi if the raider is stopped by the opposition players while on his move if raider touches opposition player and the opposition team could not stop him if raider loses breath during a game there may be fights or arguments but one must remain calm and peaceful and obey the umpire and referee one should hear all sides and show sportsmanship Similarly we do have fights in our daily lives among us but at the end we resolve it that's what we learn when we play in group but there is unequal opportunities between boys and girls girls still have fewer opportunities to play sports women's sports are generally ignored and are 
given very little importance we should support both boys and girls equally in sports and education so this much for today lot more to learn about some more games and other things from the chapter which will be covered in the next class till then thank you bye bye